My name is William Justice, and today we're going to create a spooky animated fog text animation in DaVinci Resolve using a text node, displays fast noise, a blur node, two merge nodes, time speed, brightness contrast, and a custom made fog overlay clip. Let's start by making my fog overlay clip. Now we can use the fog clip to create some animated fog text in DaVinci Resolve. Here's a quick sample of what we're going to make. Please subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. The first step is to create a fusion composition. So we're going to right click in the media pool area and choose new fusion composition. Set it for uh, 15 seconds and hit create. So we'll drag that fusion composition in the timeline and click fusion. Okay, the first step is to add our text. So we're gonna choose the text node and drag it in and we'll hit two so that we can see our text. And our text is gonna be fog. Make it whatever you want. For the font, we're gonna choose Myriad Pro and set it to bold and we'll make the size a little bit bigger. Next we're going to add a displace with a fast noise to kind of give the fog a ripple effect. So with the text node selected hit control spacebar, search for displace and add it in. Hit control space and search for fast noise and add that in. We're going to take the fast noise and input that into the displace. So we'll hit uh, one on, so we can see what our fast noise looks like. We're going to set the detail to around seven. And let's bump up the contrast a little bit. And we'll change the seethe rate so we can see that it will have some movement in it. Okay, so we're going to go to the displace and we're going to use the, the fast noise works with the displace to modify the, the text. Okay, we're going to select the displace and modify the parameters here to kind of warp the fog a bit. So let's see what we got. Okay, next we're going to add a transform. So we're going to have the text kind of start small and then get a little bit bigger as it fades in. So we'll hit control spacebar and search for transform. We'll add in the transform. I'm going to select the transform, go to the first frame, and we're going to size it down a bit. As our text is fading in, we're going to have it, uh, the size get bigger. So we're going to keyframe the size, go to the first frame, uh, make sure we have that keyframed. Go out a bit and increase the size. And go over a little bit. We'll keyframe the size because I hold that size for just a touch. And then we're going to have it get bigger as it fades out. So we're going to increase the size like that. Let's see what we have. Okay, the next step is to blur the text. So with the transform node selected, we're going to hit control space. Find the blur and add it in. So when the text first starts out, we're going to have it be really blurry. So we're going to keyframe blur size and we're going to crank this all the way up. Let's hit two so we can see what the blur looks like. So right when we're going to start seeing the text, we're going to bring the blur back down. And we'll leave it a little bit blurry so that it, uh, it's not super clear. Gonna let it stay blurry for a little bit. We'll keyframe that, and then at the very end here, we're gonna blur it out real, real big again. So let's see what we have. Okay, 
Okay, the next step is to add our background fog. So we're going to go to the media pool and find our fog clip and we're going to drag that in. We're going to add a time speed node so that we can adjust where, how the fog is looking at different points in the animation. We we'll hit control space, find the time speed node and add it. We're going to add a merge node from here. We're going to drag it in. We're going to take the blur and we're going to put that into the foreground of the merge. And out of the time speed, we're going to put that into the background of the merge. And we'll hit F2 to see what we have. Now, for the merge to have the fog show up, we're going to choose the operator of in. And you can see that we just see the fog right there. The next step is to add a merge node because we're going to have the background fog behind the text. So we'll add another merge node connect the merges together, and then the second merge node is going to get go to the media out. And we're going to use a brightness and contrast node, so we'll drag that down, and take the time speed is going to go into the brightness and contrast. The brightness and contrast is going to go into the background of the second merge, so we'll take this merge and put it into the foreground, and the brightness and contrast into the background. And we'll hit F2, and you can see that it's all clouded out now. So what we're going to do is use the brightness and contrast and take the gain down a little bit so that we can see the, the fog text coming through. Just like that. So let's play it and see what we have. I think I want the text to be, it's a little sharp there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the blur and just first keyframe here. I think we're going to add a little bit more blur to it. So it's a little, yeah, a little, a little not quite as sharp there. And we'll bump that one up right there. I think that looks a little bit better. Now, the last thing that we can do is go into the, uh, the spline editor and we can take the, the size and change the curves on it a little bit. And kind of have it come in, come in nice and slow. We'll do the same thing with the blur. We'll select that point and turn it into a curve and we can adjust it a little bit. Just like that. And we'll close the curves and let's see what we got. Okay, at this point, I kind of went through and just kind of adjusted some of the, the blurs and um, some of the dis displays to uh, make sure the text is looking good. Um, for the time speed, you select that and this allows you to adjust the timing of the background fog clip. And I used this so that I could make sure that the, um, the background was kind of filled with fog because there are some parts that don't quite have as much. Um, so you just, all you have to do is adjust the delay and you can see where the fog is. And you want to make sure that when the text is clear, that there's enough of a background that you can see the, the fog text. So we'll just pick, pick that spot there. It looks pretty good. And we'll go back to the timeline and see what it looks like. Please subscribe and comment below. Thanks for watching.